Hey guys, how y'all doing? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of Nanatsu no Taize, or you can call it The Seven Deadly Sins on chapter 229. This chapter right here. Oh dear lord. <laughs> the way how it went and the way how it ended next week. Oh my freaking... It's gonna be really tense next week. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Mila Skula is actually surprised to see Goddess Elizabeth having to regain her full power awakened. And of course, um, Mila Skula on the other hand, on the other hand, after talking to Meliodas for a bit, you know, she's gonna die in three days, so how about I go kill her right now? It doesn't sound too bad. And Meliodas tells Mila Skula, I'm not gonna say this again. Let me out of here right now. And this is where... Meliodas' his face is like Elizabeth, Elizabeth, Eliza, uh, and then it ends off there with that. And we see to it that um, Elizabeth ends up healing the wounds for King and Deanne. And Bond's like saying, What are you doing here? You're gonna freaking like him get yourself hurt. Go back. And we see to it that Elaine C talks to Elizabeth and says, You really are a goddess. You got some powerful magic right there. Which Elizabeth are you right now? She said, and Elizabeth says, well, Goddess Elizabeth, if you want to say it, is like saying, I'm the Elizabeth of the Goddess clan, and Elizabeth, the Princess of Leona's kingdom. And they, and she asks, where's Meliodas right now? And we have to it that Elizabeth asks Merlin, and Elizabeth and Merlin actually had a history together. Like, um, Elizabeth goes like, hey, you know, I, I can hardly believe you've gotten so beautiful right there. And... Of course she go, of course like, um, of course Merlin's acting a little bit strange around Elizabeth and she goes like, huh, I don't suppose you can't call me big sis right now, you used to do that back then. Even the seven deadly sins go like, what? Big sis? So it looks like Merlin and, and Goss Elizabeth actually has like, um, a certain type of relationship together. <laughs> Not in a dirty way, by the way, to let you guys know. But aside from that, Merlin's like, I don't know what you're talking about here. I was, and Elizabeth's like, oh, you don't know? I mean, you looked up to me as a big sister figure, like 12 or 13 years old, you know? And Merlin, and of course, Diane and King's like, really? Big sis? Did they really act that way? Escanor bows on to Elizabeth. Hey, would you mind telling me more about that story about that time? And then Merlin's like, stop interrupting. <laughs> Pry stop prying. And of course, Mel Skula ends up ruining the show and says, Well, well, well. I should have known. Nice to see you. The one who man manipulated Meliodas and stole his heart and make him made him betray us and dealt the final blow to the demon clan. How loathsome. Not to mention the, uh, these audacious people defying us the seven deadly sins. And of course, like, Mel Skula is like mocking Elaine going like, Oh, half dead, fairy girl, who my granted temporary life is coming along, isn't that great? And Hawk's like, what about me, huh? And Hawk was like, um, getting none of the freaking attention, but... And of course, Mel Skula gets really angry and transforms into a snake, and it, it looks very vicious. Very, very vicious. And of course, like, um, she goes like, you know... I'm not very charming. I'm. I always try to make sure to avoid taking this form. But Bond mocks uh, Mel's Global saying, "Hey, you look much better than you were before, you ugly bee." <laughs> and therefore, she went after Bond in anger because, like, um, Bond is the one that destroyed six of our hearts and messed up her jaw, and it was the freaking absolute worst. So she's gonna trap. She's trying to trap Bond into her digestive system where he, where he will just regenerate all over again. He's gonna regret ever being immortal at all. And Elaine tries to like um save Bond but gets smacked away even with her whirlwind attack. And of course Deanne ends up saving her from the major fall and Bond's telling Elaine to stop. If you push your body like that anymore you'll die. And of course like um King tries to tell Elaine, here let me take care of it. We'll do this but and of course Elaine's like if I don't push myself now when is it gonna happen then? And she's always been saying, like, you know, I've always been protected by Bond depending on him, but I don't want to be that. I want to protect him this time. And all of a sudden, she gets a major, like, um, power boost somehow and saves Bond from being eaten somehow. 
And of course, like, King and Deanne's like, whoa, are you serious? Even King has his big eyes opening right now. And Hawk's, like, measuring her power level is, like, 18,000. Her spirit is, like, 50. And her battle power is 50. Her spirit is 3,000. Her power level, power level is, like, 21,050. That's, like, ten, almost 10 times as much than her original. Because I think she's 2,300 back, 2300 back then. But now that, but aside from that, Aside from that, Elizabeth says because of her strength turning into love, etc. And we get to see her wings, dude. Her wings grew way bigger and faster than freaking King alone, dude. Even King, his eyes is like, oh my gosh. And Bond ends up hugging Elaine and says, you're the one that's always been saving me. You do understand that, right? And of course, like a middle school was trying to kill both Elaine and Bond, but apparently a surge of evil actually came from a presence. And of course, Merlin knows who that is. Even Elizabeth knows. And somehow, Melios' power managed to break out of the freaking cocoon in anger. Even Mel School's like, no way, that was a dark cocoon. Not even, not even one of the Ten Commandments can even break out of that. Even Zeldris himself, unless he was using the Demon King's power, could have destroyed it. But, you know, this power is not even of the Demon King. This is Meliodas himself. I mean, we have yet to we have yet to actually see his full 100% power. But I guess like um he literally went berserk this time. Even Escanor summons Divine Axe Rita to his will, knowing that Meliodas can't be quelled right now. Merlin, on the other hand, tells Escanor, "Look, this guy's too much for you to handle. You should step back." But Escanor's like, "Hey, you don't have to worry. You know, babysitting is like my special speciality." This might have a strange effect, and it looks like to me, Escanor's like, I'm ready to kick your f butt right now and calm you down. How's that sound? <laughs> to Meliodas in a certain way. And of course, Escanor and Meliodas are about to go head to head, and the next chapter is called The Chosen Warriors. Wow, dude. I mean, like, um, all I can really give you guys in a simple summary of this chapter right now is like, um... It's like Goddess Elizabeth having some kind of relation, sister relationship with Merlin, etc. And healing up the seven deadly sins. Elaine helping Bond out after middle school tries to eat Bond and the other seven deadly sins. And Elaine, of course, has that major power boost somehow. And she actually grew up nice wings. Pretty slick. <laughs> and Meliodas going to ang anger berserk mode because he can't break out of there and broke out of there out of, out of rage. And... Escanor coming in to like calm down Meliodas. So I'm really looking forward to see how this is gonna go. Cause Escanor, man, I want to see him at his peak level of power against Meliodas, who gave most of his power back after his last death, which happened many, many chapters ago. To see what his berserk form is really gonna be like, but we'll have to find out from here on out. Anyways, chapter was pretty cool, great. The way how it ended, oh sh, dude, <laughs> it's gonna be slick. So, I'm pretty excited. I don't know what's about to happen, but oh man. So until then, I'll see you guys in my next video. So, I'm out for zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.